Hi guys welcome back to the real tech man. Today we will be converting this stock footage, to a fake explosion action scene with the help of Adobe After Effects CS6. For this tutorial you will need two things. Stock footage and explosion effect with green background. The stock footage I am using is owned by Surfaced Studio. If you want to follow along, I have given link to his website and channel in the description box below, you can download this video from there. Please note, I am making this tutorial only to give you a rough knowledge. My main goal here is to only show you the tools and techniques. So I won't be focusing on each and every detail to make it look real and professional, because that would be time consuming and I don't want my videos to be very long and boring. So please use your own creative ideas to make it look real and professional. So let's get started. Open up your Adobe After Effects and drag and drop the stock footage in the composition panel. Now the next thing we will do is add the explosion effect to our stock footage. To place the explosion effect, we need to find the exact place and time. In my case I want to place it here when he jumps off the surface. So now drag and drop the green screen explosion effect to your composition panel. And place it exactly where the man jumps off the ground. I have already explained in my previous video on how to remove green screen and give the explosion a realistic look. So I won't be going through all that procedure again in this video. If you haven't watched it already I have given the link in the description box. To remove green screen background go to your effects and preset panel and search for key light. Drag and drop the key light plugin on your green screen layer. Take the screen color dropper and left click on the green background. Now adjust the size and place the explosion exactly beside the jumping point of the man. Once you placed the explosion effect properly it's time to make the man fly out of the frame. To do that click on your stock footage and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Now click on the bottom layer and find a point where the man is not in the frame. Once you find the point, right click on the bottom layer and go to time and freeze frame. Now when you scrub to the bottom layer, you can see it has become a still image. Now click on the bottom layer and press enter, and change its name to background. Now select second layer and take your timeline indicator to the point where the man is jumping, and press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to trim the layer, then change the first layer's name to man and then freeze that layer. Once the man layer is frozen take the pen tool and start drawing a mask around the man. After the mask is drawn click on the selection tool and press P for position. Click on the stopwatch icon to set the position. Now drag the timeline indicator 10 to 15 frames ahead. And drag the man out of the footage. Now when you play the clip it will look like the man is flying away because of the explosion. But this looks fake. So to make it a bit realistic, we will use the puppet pin tool to animate the man's body while it's flying away. So go and select the puppet pin tool and add three points. One on his head, one near his vest, and one on his leg. Now with the help of these points, we can animate the flying body. Use page up button to move one frame forward. Now drag the lower point to move the leg forward. To move the upper body, use the upper point located near his head. Now again press page down button to move some frames forward. 
and again with the help of those points animate the body according to your preferences. Repeat the same steps until the man flies out of the frame. Now when you play the clip you will see the body doesn't fly straight like it did before, because it has been animated with the help of puppet tool. That's it guys, you can take your time to make it look professional, but like I said, I don't want to make a very long tutorial, so I have made this quick short tutorial to give you guys a rough idea, here is how the final output looks like. You can even add some creativity like this with same technique. So use your creative mind and if you have any doubt feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.